I understand that, but he won't stop. What did I do? What did I do? I asked you why weren't there anyone in position for 10 to 15 minutes. You told me that y'all had people in other positions. But your elite class has been manned this whole time and no one was being seen over here. A lady asked in the crowd, can we have service? She was hushed down and told that someone was coming. Again, more people complained about it until someone finally came. Now, me asking questions, you threatening and saying that I can't get on my flight. You point at me, you saying I'm making the process longer. How so? And now you're calling security. Go ahead. I haven't done anything wrong besides exit questions. How am I making threats? You just told them I'm making threats. How am I making threats? He just said I'm making threats. Sound like you said I was making threats on the phone. So I have a question. So we missed this flight. Are you guys gonna reimburse us for disobedience? Uh, it's not a beanie. Oh, that's a hair wrap. No, that's alright. Appreciate it, Mark. Thank you. I asked a question and you didn't answer it. You start pointing your finger in my face and taking a rude, distasteful turn with me. When I returned that same energy, you got mad and said you can make the situation worse. You said you're the only person who can make it easy for me. You said if I don't put my phone down and start recording, I will not be boarding my flight. You threatened me multiple times about me boarding my flight. Dark blue, navy. <laughs> hey, yo, let him continue. You're not wearing navy. That's why I said I'm not tripping. I'm just trying to figure out what's the issue on asking yeah, why there is an issue. I want to get this right because you get the wrong three, two, three. Hopefully. It's still a model house. Three, six, three. That's the issue if you keep getting the wrong black man. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, not that I know. It's just a lot of work. No, it's up to Still at the counter. Okay, our flight is officially boarding now. Yeah. We still have to go That's why I said I'm gonna make sure I go through the fullest process of doing the biggest fucking complaint. Now he's saying I'm cutting him off, talking to you, my wife. Wow. Done. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay right here until they get here. Okay. Um, I have a question. So, yes, ma'am. Reimbursement. This, if we miss this flight, mm -hmm. will you guys be able to put us on the next flight? I'll put you on the next flight. Oh, we'll so we we'll still get out of here. Both of you as well, but if okay. you call, I'm back, making. Well. I was come, okay. but I'm still trying to get to the sure answer of the issues. We'll get to the next flight, but this one, cool. if we get too close, cool. Which it is that means yes. I can continue to so thank you for your service, Mark. Okay. Cool, Mark. Okay. Go ahead. As soon as you're done, we'll continue. I stopped talking. Go ahead, Mark. I'm done with talking, but I'm going to communicate. Go ahead, Mark. Okay. All right, well, I already charged you for the animal fees. Mm -hmm. and put that on your reservation. The next flight's not to 350. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then our luggage will get there the same time we'll be on the flight, or is it? I'll just check it in on the flight that you're on, so you okay. all of you guys are driving to ready. Thank you, Mark. Mm -hmm. CSS, Jen, is that it? So, I'm the issue just for asking questions, but it's okay for Mark to hold people flight, threatening them prior to holding their flight. Cool. CSS 
Yes, yes, Jerry, got it. Oh, she's on right? Yeah. Cool. Even your friend got you, Mark. What's that? Even your friend got you, Mark. What's that supposed to mean? That's your name, Mark. That's my name. Yeah, uh, so Mark. Acknowledge me. Your so. friend got you, Mark. Meaning you got good coworkers, Mark. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, mm -hmm. unfortunately stuck with, uh, with the situation right now. Yeah. What's up? What do you need? What's that, Nimbus? What's going on? Chilling, chilling. So, before we end up going any further, can I have your name and badge number? Well, well let's, let's get to the point. What, I what? just want to know if your name and badge Rodrigo. number. My own. Rodrigo, what's your badge 397. number? 397. Appreciate okay. it. Thank you. What's, what's going on? Let's, let's go to the side. It's pretending all of us. Can we stay right here? No, because I'm gonna, I like to talk to you one at a time. One at a time? That yeah. makes sense, isn't it? Kind of, sort of. Okay. So, the issue... Can you keep your hands out of the pocket for me? All right. my safety. You All want right. me to take my backpack off for your safety as well? No. All right, cool. The issue is that we were sitting in line for 10, 15 minutes without anyone being on this whole side of the register. So yeah. much that yeah. even a woman yeah. up in line yelled and made an attempt to get attention. When she did that, they quieted her down. Now, once he came out, I specifically asked, I was like, hey, what happened to be the issue? Why were we waiting in line for 10, 15 minutes, whereas first class is still being boarded and everything, and then there wasn't no one in line? He said, that's the privilege they pay for it. And I was like, okay, cool, that's fine. But then after that, you start getting to the point where it's like, all right, so why wasn't y'all man? How do you go into the point of making a formal complaint? Who do you talk to? Yeah. Next thing you know, I'm being told that I'm being disrespectful. I'm making it an issue by asking these questions, which is why I brought out my phone to record. Okay. I only did it for... That's for, okay. I, I understand, man. But, I'm, we're we're then, in public. You can record. I can record. And, and, and that's just to put you all my at while, while you're talking to me, can you can I get the ID? So my... What do you need my ID for? What criminal crime? Just like you that? asked me my uh, last name. I don't have to give you my ID. You're flying out, aren't you? I haven't done anything wrong. No, I need your driver's license. For you what? Out I, I already gave him my driver's license to get my can ticket. Can you keep uh, hands on the pocket, man? I already okay, gave him... been respecting you. Sir, we, got, we got called to investigate crime. What crime? Crime is 415. 415. What's it's the crime? A disturbance. A disturbance. A disturbance. Yeah. Me asking a question. So, didn't you need to investigate both people, both parties? I don't know what happened. I, I can't help it. Hold up. Can I just show that there's nothing in my pocket yeah, so he can stop do. saying for his own please safety? Do. And, and we'll, we appreciate it. There's nothing right, in my pocket. Don't, sir, we don't know what the crime occurred. Then why is he asking for my ID? We're here to investigate. And I do not and want to provide during, my ID. During our investigation, we have a legal right to ask for your ID. Under suspicion of a crime being committed yes. when there wasn't a crime being committed. I, I, if you said you had to investigate, I which here. I understand, and you I wasn't, wasn't here. here, you say you had to investigate, I understand, y'all wasn't here. But in order to do that, you still have to go talk to both willing I, will, I, I am going to ask you for my identification, listen, 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 and I haven't did anything wrong. I, I paid for my ticket, I asked got, a question. I didn't You're come over here and stop. We got a call, that's why we're here. Mm -hmm. I've been listening to you, I've been very respectful. You have, first thing you did is you asked my name and the badge number. Did I give because it to you? you have to. You're a okay, legal, so right you're, now you're, you're at the airport, you, you are to. flying out, aren't you? Yes, As homeland security they have my issue stuff. And also are you, are you Homeland Security? Homeland Security issue. Are you Homeland issue? Security? Okay, well, I'm a police officer. Look at the You're a police officer. Are you gonna Are you gonna give me a provide You're a public the idea? No, I'm not. Okay. What right. crime have I committed in order for you to ask for because my ID? You, right now, we got a call as right a disturbance. Now. A disturbance, and yes. you didn't investigate. You came immediately to me, and you're asking me for my identification you based on the point. Talk to separated I was talking to him, and then you came and asked, "Could you talk to me?" I did not want to talk me, to you. Me, I'm not right now. Okay, I'm not here. Can I put my back now? All right, please. All right, so I'm emptying my pockets just because yeah, I take comfort into putting my hands in my See, pockets and I don't want you to feel threatened. That's fine. Let me, let me get your ID so I can... I'm not giving you my ID. Okay. Why would I have to give you my because ID you're, you're if I haven't out, done I'm any crime? I'm flying out and I gave him my ID to pay for my ticket. Um, I, I want to know who I'm talking to. You can look at my ticket. 
You have to provide the ID for TSA. Well, You're gonna have to do that. I gave my ID to them for my ticket, and then when I go to TSA, you are not TSA. Okay. Do me a favor. Can you get the information in 29, and I'll talk to the airline. Yeah, cool. Talk to the airline. Why did you ask me for my ID? Uh, because I wanted to know who I'm talking to. When I told, okay. and I could have just verbally told you that, but instead you asked for my ID. Yeah, it's I because ID. I, I this way I know it, it is you. Sir. Okay, you could tell, you can lie to me, and people lie to Sir. the police all the time. And you just said, know. you just said we're at the airport. Yeah. They have my information. So if you're arguing with the police officer, who I'm asking a call, question. Hold on. How am I gonna? How are they gonna trust you? Put you in a plane? Because I gave him my ID. If you already, I asked a question. I asked a question regarding this the baggage. Is not an investigation. So investigation is, I come over here because you're creating a disturbance. Making other people uncomfortable. Two people what people? Call the, police. the people behind the counter. No, no, no. The other one. I'm Where's the other they're one? They're the other one you're yeah. also supposed to bring to also Anon do this. Anonymous. They're already anonymous. Anonymous. Where yes, are they? The they, gotta they, they gotta bring them in here so I can also have the right to no, confront them no, and ask them what was the disturbance. Anonymous. I can ask so what's if the you're disturbance. Like this in the airplane. If Would you call a lawyer argumentative? What? Would you call a lawyer or anything like that argumentative? No, because right now you're, you're not going with the program. I'm asking you. What is the program? You at you at the airport, okay? Airport okay. means high secure area. High secure that area that I already they plugged can deny in. Voting right now for for any what? Reason. For what reason? It's a, it's for any reason, even though I've already paid, and he just already told us because that we're you, still gonna make our flight. My issue was that I asked him why it wasn't manned. They didn't like my questions, so they called you, and then you came here. Right then you came. They, they can, but they haven't. Okay. And you're telling because me right what they can do. Right now, because I'm talking to you and engaging in you after you ask me a question. Yeah, you're not you're not providing me with inf any information. What Who information do you to? want? Who am I talking to? My name is Edward. You want my ID and I'm not giving you that. That's what but you did. Did you provide the ID? Did to you the ask airlines? me for my name? Oh, did I provide my ID to the airlines? Yes. Yeah. Why, why don't you provide the ID? Because don't you know that you had to provide the ID to uh, security? To TSA, not okay. law enforcement. It's, they had to check the ID. Right? TSA, not law enforcement. So you're not just providing me your ID. TSA, not law enforcement. I am, I am investigation. Make sure you're investigating you what crime. To. Hold okay. on. You're investigating to make sure you're talking to to see who you're talking to. I verbally told you what my name well, was, I, I and you're asking for my ID. You're me the truth. What would you need my ID for I, besides I, me telling you my name? I know people lie to the police all the time. They have my information, do they not? But I'm talking to you. They have. They, they're the ones who made the you call, did they were not? Me from the beginning. And I'm gonna continue. I talked to, talk to you from with the respect from the beginning. And I, I ask you, you, you questions, talk. and whenever I ask okay. you a question, you the get very thing defensive. You ask me is my name and the badge number. So because you have you. to, as a public servant, yeah, you have to give your I'm name and badge number. Do you say that to the judge? There's no crime right now. It's I'm not a crime, but I'm sitting up here. I'm saying if you're going to get mad at me for asking for your I'm name and badge you. number. I'm just saying I'm just having the same conversation you're having with me. Do the general public have the right to ask public, the public informant or law enforcement for their name and badge number? Absolutely. And do you have to provide it? When they're flying out, yes. Do you have to provide your name and badge number whenever X? What reasonable yes. suspicion of what when crime is being committed? When I'm, when I'm is this a traffic time? stop? Oh, when I'm at the airport, when somebody when calls you're you, when you're at the airport, and then you're also you supposed to, to investigate both of them, both parties, and get them a time to confront. You know, That's the investigation and, right now. It's not. I'll talk to the airline. It's up Thank to you. them. They want to continue with the flight. They already paid for the ticket okay. and said they will. Could you bring the uh, other officer? Could I talk to you? I'm argumentative to you and did what? Okay. What did I do? We'll, we'll decide. Cool. Stand by your backpack, right? Stand by my backpack? Yeah. Is that a command? Or yeah, it is absolutely. For what? For what? Regarding your, your property, I'm just going to ask you to provide your property. My other stuff is right there. Am I abandoning you my dogs too? Stand by the backpack. Why? Why? Are you telling me to stand by my backpack? For I'm, what I'm reason? You to stand for by what my reason? For what reason? Because it's an airport violation too. It's, a, it's an airport violation. My backpack is in plain view of me and I was there along with yeah, my wife. Absolutely. absolutely. You, can, you can research it. So, absolutely. all right, do something about it, please. Because I don't think that's true. I think you're just trying to get me over there because I'm not doing what you want me to do. I'm still in the vicinity I'm with my bones. I even asked your other officer, is it okay for me to put it right there? So for you to say anything like yeah, that would go against that. Backpack. How? Show me. You said I can look it up, I can research it. Are these real laws or are you just coming up with different small minuscule rules to kind of get your point or to push your authority? Those are the little small questions that I'm asking. 
The same way this issue of me asking about customer service has escalated to the point where security or law enforcement had become because I was asking a question. Do you not see how silly this has become? And again, I only pull out my phone to record for my safety and protection as well as your safety and protection. Are you the last one? No. Okay. <laughs> oh man, this is going to be interesting. Can I look at my camera, dude? I don't have to. Law enforcement officers are acting like this. So, I asked a question to complain up here, which escalated to this. Actually, I have. So this is him saying and adding stuff that I've done and what I've not done. I don't know who she is. We haven't spoken. Me and her haven't had a chance to speak up on the issue or to find out what are their concerns. My initial issues were with Mark, the supervisor, which is now spread to the point of this. And I still don't know how. Me and my wife's flight was probably about 30 minutes ago. Ma'am, if you wanted to talk, we could also talk. Anyone recording police officer, if you're like this with them, apparently that's disrespectful. That's uncooperative, just being like this with them. He's just spoken to someone that I don't have the liberty to ask what is going on. They don't know nothing about me or the situation, but he shared his intents, intel with them. And we're just going to see how this plays out, because at this point I'm very confused. I do have his name and badge number, which I am looking forward to utilizing in any type case of a report incident being filed. Here's another representative from Alaska who I haven't had the liberty to talk into, but she's coming into the situation as well. So we're going to see how this continues to grow. And again, this all escalated from me asking the simple question as to why wasn't the area manned and that we've been waiting for 10, 15 minutes prior to the flight. And it escalated from there. And this is the officer walking to my wife. You know her beautiful self over there. She's the calm one up in the scenario. I don't know what's being told to her, but I'm glad she's recording also. So we're just trying to see what happens. Now I'm looking at the fact the officer got his hand on his gun. I'm trying to figure out why. You gotta enjoy it, don't it? Asking multiple questions, all of these. So let's see. So one officer told me to stay back and the whole time he's telling me to stay back, again, he has a gun on his weapon. If not, I would have been approached. Then he also tried to say that me leaving my backpack was me fucking leaving my stuff behind when they uh, asked the officer, could I? So We have Mark, the supervisor. We have two officers. That one I'm definitely gonna look into. We got one who did his job properly, the other one he tried, fell epically. We good, baby? Yeah, we're Hour before the next flight? Um, dogs and luggage and everything will come with us, but they put us on a later flight that was in an hour. We'll have to go to Seattle first right. and then transition to Portland. Am I being arrested or detained? I'm good to go? Am I being arrested or detained? I'm just saying because the way he was coming across was very threatening. I just want to make sure, sir, thank you so much because you actually came and talked to me. Then you made your way over here to talk to him. Appreciate it. Can we go over here? Because I, I don't want to talk to him. I asked your wife the same question. What do you got against cops? What I have against cops besides yeah. the fact that I've been pulled over and had a gun put in my face several times. And I even told him me being a military member at the time. Mm -hmm. 
I don't have an issue with you or him individually. My issue is him. I only bring up the phone to record for protection and safety from incidents prior to this happening. The only reason is because prior to this happening, I didn't have ways to protect myself. Now I do. My issue is not with law enforcement. My issue is with him, Alaska Airlines. After that, it escalated. He couldn't answer my question, so he called y'all talking about he felt threatened. Said that y'all got another call. I'm like, okay, where's that person who presented so, that call? So, can I explain kind of the... Yes, sir. I explain to why. I'm yes, like, sir. Oh, so, I don't know the interaction that happened between the two of you, Thank so I'm you. just going to go with what happened after I showed up. Okay? Yes, sir. So... Hold on, hold on. I apologize. And I don't mean to cut you off just to be rude. It's just for protection again. Could I have your name and badge number? Yep. Officer Peebles, 5938, right here. So, the way, he, the way he gave... And this is for a commentary for my video. The way he gave his name and badge number compared to the way the other officer gave his name and badge number. He actually gave me his name and badge number where the officer was like, you can see it. I I don't understand. It's a, then he told me that I had to present identification for a crime and I didn't do that. So is this to get views or is this to... No, this, this, is, this is literally for me and my protection and also to sit up here and put out a notice as to not okay. you, but, but is this, issues is this to get that. views? I mean, like, no, no, no. To get views? No, no, okay. no. Are you, are, are you assuming lane that I'm trying to do this to give I'm, views? I'm just wondering why you're are you doing a, are you assuming? I'm here to do a job. Thank you. And I'd like to explain why I'm here. And while you're here, again, just for the fact that you asked me what's this to give views, that kind of lets me know a little bit of the type of person I'm talking to or the characteristics okay. of the people I talk to that's coming with others. Okay. Am I free to go? You're totally free to go. Cool. But I would love to explain why And you're I appreciate here. that. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. So, and as I explained your why. Okay, you're going to get on a plane with five people mm -hmm. that are in charge. You're mm -hmm. supposed to listen to those five people and do exactly as they say. On a plane? On a plane. Okay, you're going to be 30,000 feet in the air. There's no way to put that plane on the ground immediately. There's no way to solve a problem immediately. On a plane. Okay. This gentleman right here mm -hmm. is what I explained to your wife. He can be seen as a filter. He's a filter to what's going to happen 30,000 feet in the air. I can understand that. Whether you that. agree or not. So he has to call and he has to call us for any kind of problem to make sure whatever happens at 30,000 feet uh, or whatever happens here doesn't yes, get worse at 30,000 feet. And don't affect what happens 30,000 feet. Yeah. I just have it's a question. It's solely a safety precaution. It's the reason we're here. If there's a complaint and someone asks, what's the issue? Is that a reason to call security? I'm sorry? If there is a complaint... Like I said, it, I, don't know. I, I know, I know. But that's what I'm saying. The same way you just asked me a question. I can understand your position, but if there's a complaint, do you feel like that warrants a reason to call the police? I have no idea. You wasn't here. You wasn't here. You don't know what happened, but I'm asking. I'm just asking that one question. You wasn't here, and it's, it doesn't so have to you, be this case. If you it wasn't here. Said, How do I file a complaint? And, and said, I did that. I literally asked that after asking, why wasn't this man for 10 minutes? Where were your people? How do you file a complaint? Sir, if you want to make this easier, point your finger in my face. And I'm like, stop pointing your finger in my face. And you're still, you wasn't here and you don't know what happened. But again, that one question. If someone asks a question, does that warrant having a police officer called on you? Thank you. I'm out. Appreciate it. Peebles, thank you. You know, yes. Thank you Just because there's no issue. Thank you for yours. Thank I appreciate you it. I hope y'all learned something from this. Appreciate it, Mark. Thank you for your service. Oh.